Welcome back to the channel. There's something pretty important I want to discuss with you about split pack wiring and BMSs and stuff. How the things need to be done safely in order to avoid damaging any parts and preventing you to write. Let's first say this applies to any board, any VX wheel, one, two, three, four, doesn't matter. As long as it uses a single BMS unit, this applies to it. There are some BMS units that are now being developed for split packs, which have separate units in front, separate unit in backs or even in each pack. It's a very good approach and I think it's the future. But right now most people still use single BMS units as I'm using as well in this board and in all of my boards. This is the Inoid V3. It doesn't matter which one it is. We're going to discuss how it must be connected each time you put your batteries out, each time you put your batteries back in to avoid any problems because yes you can damage your BMS if you do this wrong. I'm not gonna go into details why you can damage your BMS if you do it wrong. I'm gonna try to explain it as simple as possible and maybe add a video or two from other YouTubers that might explain it better. Let's start assembling the board and figure out on the way why this is very important. In this board I have four packs in the back, two packs in the front and one BMS that is in the back only. I have wirings going for sense wires to the front packs, to each pack, the back, front, doesn't matter. Let's take three and four, let's put it together, put it in its place. Let's take one and two, join it together. Join it together here, don't forget this one, it's very important. Join it together here, don't forget this one as well. You press the rear two in the back and you add two and one in their spots right here. Let's install all of them. It might be actually easier to plug in the wires first, so let's plug the wire here. Slide it in the rail. This one has longer wires, so it doesn't matter. Put it in its spot. And that's it, the batteries are installed. But they are not ready to be connected and the board is not ready to be switched on. What you must understand is when one pack is outside of the board, it acts as one pack. When several packs are inside the board and they are not connected, they still act as six single packs. And you don't want that. When your packs are in the board, you want them to act as one big pack. You must only think about them as separate packs when they're outside in your baggage or anywhere else. At every point that they're installed in the board, they must act as one big pack. That is crucial information. This means you must take care of all of these connections. Don't forget the one between those two packs. Don't forget the one going from here to pack number 5. Don't forget the one going from pack number 5 to pack number 6. This is the final positive one. It's not so important, but let's connect this as well. We have this internal connection, this one. We have this one, this one, this one, this one. And we have the main negative, which is also not that important, but we can as well plug this now. Now my battery pack acts as one and only now I can connect the balance wires. Depends on the BMS units but also here I recommend doing it in a specific order. Let's connect pack one first, pack two second, pack three third. Moving on to pack four. I'm gonna squeeze this cable here. Pack five and pack six. All of this must be done before any load is connected to the battery system. I have my controller disconnected here as you can see it. Now the battery pack acts as one with main cable connections and with BMS cable connections. Only now the battery is ready to connect the mains power load. So we can connect 
this right now and pretty much we should be okay to switch on the bolt now. Switch on the lights. I want to show you that we have all the 24 cells visible on the BMS and everything's all right. If you miss to connect any of the mains power cables in between the packs, this makes it a split pack and not a one pack in the board. And if you connect the load to a battery without the internal connections and you take some power from it, this power will not be going through the main loop, but it's gonna run through the BMS unit. And this is gonna damage your BMS unit. That affects pretty much all BMS units, except the ones that are specifically designed for split packs, which I hope there will be more and more soon. But for now, you have to understand this. And yes, there are things you can do wrong also when you are taking the battery out. So let's explain this as well. The bolt is now on where it shouldn't be when you are taking the foot pads off, but that's all right. So first you switch off the bolt and then you must assure there is no power going through the battery. This means you first have to disconnect the main power load, this one, and then you have to power on the bolt. You see the light flashes. So you discharge the capacitors. If you don't do this and you make a short or any wild mistake with wires, you can still damage your parts. Only now, when you switch on the board and switch it off again, the capacitors are empty and all the energy stays only in the battery packs. Now that there is no load on them and no current can flow through the BMS to the controller, if you disconnect any of the mains bridges, now you can disconnect the BMS wires from 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then you can start pulling off the battery packs and unplugging the mains bridges. That is the only safe way to disconnect a split pack. I'm not gonna put it back out now, I'm gonna assemble it now and go for a ride. So before you plug any of the power again, check out all of the connections, make sure you do it twice or three times. It doesn't hurt to check the wires twice or three times because it does hurt when you melt your expensive components. So once you're sure everything's connected and your battery is acting as one big pack, only then you can safely connect it back again, install the foot pads and go for a ride. It's also good to use some foam here to press the battery down so it doesn't shake. It's way less free space here, so I'm just using two tiny foams here. Don't forget to connect your foot pad where it belongs. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. That's the VX Wheel 4 board, which I'm gonna release all the details about it pretty soon. I just felt this is way more important than any other stuff. Let's install the screws and let's go ride.